Jump Ship to Freedom is a historical novel authored by James Lincoln Collier and his brother, Christopher Collier, and was published in 1981. The story revolves around Daniel Erebus, a 14-year-old slave in post-revolutionary war America. After his father's death at sea, Daniel's master, Captain Ivers, selfishly keeps the soldier's notes owed to the family. In an attempt to regain the notes, Daniel sets a diversionary fire, but it backfires, leading to his forced journey on Captain Ivers's ship, the genius Brutus, to be sold in the West Indies. This cruel act separates Daniel from his mother, who remains with Mrs. Ivers. During the voyage, Daniel befriends Birdsey Brooks, Captain Ivers's nephew, and together, they carry out daily tasks on the ship. After stops in New York and Philadelphia, the ship encounters a dangerous storm, causing Birdsey and another crew member to fall overboard. With the mast broken, the ship returns to New York. Sensing an opportunity to escape, Daniel starts another fire, managing to flee but ending up alone on the streets of New York, facing hunger and the constant threat of capture as a runaway slave. Thankfully, Daniel finds help and friendship from various people who support him in his journey to find freedom. Daniel finds himself struggling to survive in New York, relying on the help of kind-hearted individuals like Carrie, a fellow slave, and Black Sam Frances, a tavern operator. Another person who comes into his life is the enterprising Quaker, Peter Fatherscraft, who despite being sick, hopes to advocate for slaves at the upcoming Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia. When Daniel hears news that the Continental Congress is convening in Philadelphia to draft a constitution, he clings to hope that the new United States will honor the soldiers' notes from the Revolutionary War, which could help him buy both his and his mother's freedom. Meanwhile, Father Scraft is hopeful that a compromise on slavery will be discussed and potentially ratified at the convention. This compromise would ban slavery in the North but allow it in the South, coupled with a fugitive slave law requiring the return of escaped slaves found in the North to their owners. Father Scruff's deteriorating health prevents him from making the journey to Philadelphia alone, so Frances asks Daniel to accompany him. The trek is dangerous and fraught with risks, as Daniel is still a runaway slave, and Father Scruff's health is in decline. Tragically, Father Scruff passes away before they reach Philadelphia, leaving Daniel with the responsibility of delivering the crucial message about the possible compromise on slavery. However, this decision puts Daniel in a difficult position. While delivering the message could have a significant impact on the country, it would mean remaining a slave himself. He grapples with his duty to honor Father Scruff's dying wish and the desire to secure his own freedom. The weight of this choice brings about a profound inner conflict for Daniel. As the story unfolds, Daniel must make a difficult decision about delivering the message to William Samuel Johnson, an early American statesman involved in drafting the Constitution. Eventually, he decides to fulfill his duty and deliver the crucial information. Knowing the risks involved, he returns to Captain Ivers and surrenders himself to be a slave once more. However, Johnson recognizes the bravery and sacrifice Daniel displayed to deliver the message. In gratitude, he purchases Daniel's and his mother's freedom from Ivers, granting them a chance at a better life. Jump Ship to Freedom provides a valuable glimpse into early colonial America, offering young readers an insightful perspective on a pivotal moment in history. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.